What is happening? It's a cold winter day here at Robot Masters, and I figured, well, since I'm sitting in the house, maybe it's time to do another robot vacuum video. Alright, let's get started. We all heard and loved the Roblox S5 Max, Roblox's latest robot vacuum lineup, and it's being pushed around by its competitors, but it stands its own. While some competitors offers a bunch of features like a handheld remote, the S5 Max stands its ground by having a tried and true design, which hasn't changed much through the first generation Xiaomi. Over the years, the Roblox has been slowly progressing by adding more features, more power, and also better cleaning performance. In this video, I'm going to show you some features that you may not know about the Roblox S5 Max. The Roblox is the only robot vacuum that I know of that actually has two separate apps. One is the Roblox app and the other is the Mi Home app. For this demonstration, I'll be using the Mi Home app. They're very similar in terms of look and feel, but I have heard that the Mi Home app offers more capabilities in the map editing mode, like being able to merge and name your maps. The first feature you may not know about the S5 Max is in the app, you can actually select what power level and what water flow level you want for each room. This is great if you have dedicated hardware floors in the kitchen, and maybe you want a high suction on your carpet, you can do that within the app. That is very cool. No other Roborock model can do this. So the next feature that all the Roborock models have, the S4, S5, S5 Max, the S6, S6 Pier, oh my gosh, the list goes on and on, is the pin and go feature. What this feature allows you to do is tell the robot to go to a specific location. This is great if you want to empty out the dustbin and the trash can is not near the robot. Also, you have the ability to do a spot clean once the robot arrives to your target point. For this demonstration, I actually put a couple chair legs in front of the robots to see how well the robot can recognize these objects and navigate around them. With its smart LiDAR navigation, this is one of the few robot vacuums that can create a path planning within the map. You can see that on the dotted lines. Also, the robot can update its map in real time so you can see those objects being incorporated in the map. Reach the, target. the next feature we're going to look at is the spot cleaning feature. A lot of these robot vacuums have a spot clean function which allows them to concentrate in a single area. While some do a spiral clean, this actually does a small 5x5 five five foot area or maybe it's 6x6, six six. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, it does a nice square and then once it does a perimeter sweep, it actually fills in that small square with the back and forth clean pattern. Take a look at that Roomba 960 down there. You notice that the spiral clean does fine with like a carpeted area, so it's not scattering the debris around, but you notice the side brush on the Roomba, it spins super fast. So if I did the same demonstration on hardwood floors, it would actually scatter those chips around quite much. So it would make that spot cleaning feature kind of useless. But for the Roblox, the side brush is speed sensing, meaning that if it's near a wall, it will actually speed up. And if it's out in the open area, it actually slows down. So this spot cleaning feature works really well for the Roblox. Hopefully down the road, robot vacuum makers can incorporate a feature where if robots can detect they're on hardwood floors, they would really slow down the side brush. And if they're on carpet, they can speed up the side brush. It seems like it would be an easy fix. I'm just shocked that no one's done this before. Okay, so here's an example of a dual side brush system that it's great in theory, but it spins too fast on hardwood floors. So you can see all the scatter of debris. I tried to do lightweight debris just to showcase this example. So here at Robot Masters, I've done maybe 30 or so different types of robot vacuum models. So I have a pretty good grasp on how these robot vacuums run. And I have found that the Roblox series do the best with the spot clean function. That dual side brush system is nice to have, but that single side brush silicone design on the S5 Max is really smart and it does well holding up to the different types of debris. Also does well with hardwood floors, carpeting, different types of material that the robot vacuum runs on. <sighs> Next, let's have a look at the design change over the previous Roborock models. You can see that the airflow vent up on the top right corner there is kind of sits higher than the previous models. This allows prevention of scattered debris, especially for like lightweight material like beads. Also, they moved the speaker over to the left there, so you can hear the Roborock vacuum clearer than previous models. Even the world's best side brush design will still scatter some debris around, so I recommend running the robot vacuum twice at least, or if you want to better clean, maybe in three times. With the Roblox, you can go up to three times in a single area. 
So if you like this type of video, please smash the like button, helps me gauge if this video is popping up. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name's Nathan, this is Robot Masters. I do a lot of head-to-head -head challenges, I do reviews, unboxings of robot vacuums. I also get a lot of different products out, as well as like stick vacuums, I do window cleaners. I also have been doing some air purifiers. So if you're a business, if you want me to review a product, please shoot me an email down below. Okay, so why I like the Roblox S5 Max design a lot, here's one thing that they kind of omitted was the pressure sensor for the LiDAR dome. You can see that if you have low hanging furniture, the robot can't detect when it hits its LiDAR sensor. That is kind of odd omission. I kind of wish they included a pressure sensor for the dome, but to remedy this problem, you can either do a keep out zone or you can just kind of lift up the furniture a couple inches to clear the dome. Okay, so it looks like the Roblox is all done. I'm going to go ahead and press the home button on the robot and it's going to go back to its docking station. You notice that I moved the furniture around so the robot has to figure out how to get to its docking station. There's a bunch of furniture in front of it, but it's no problem for the Roblox. You can see that most LiDAR based robot vacuums can navigate around furniture, but the Roblox does it the best. In the instruction manuals, it says to have at least 4 to 6 feet on either side of the docking station. While this may be great for an open area, if you try to put the docking station in a closet, you may not be able to meet that requirement. But don't worry, the Roblox docking station can be in very tight quarters. As you can see, it's next to a, a Procenic M7 Pro, and it's also next to a trash can, which has a reflective material, which may screw up the LiDAR sensor. But the Roblox has no problems, and it's able to get to its docking station without any issues. The last thing I want to look at is the mopping design of the different types of hybrid robot vacuums. This is the Roblox S6 design. You notice that it has a physical mechanical switch to change the water system, but it's a gravity fed system. All of the robot vacuums that use a hybrid system do have a flap that you can put the water in. So if you're looking for a good hybrid robot vacuum, I think the S5 Max is the way to go because the electronically controlled mopping pad allows you to shut the water off as it's sitting on its docking station. Well, a gravity fed system it doesn't so it will run out all of its water once it's done so that's one thing to consider if you want a gravity fed system over electronically controlled system and for my situation my hardware floors are sensitive to water so having these gravity fed systems they put out too much water so i prefer the electronically controlled i usually leave it on its lowest setting and the water flow is just fine for the hardwood floors okay so that just about wraps up this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you guys next time and if you guys are considering getting a roblox s5 max i'll put a, a link in the description down below and it'll give you more information about the specs also they may be a great deal so check out the latest price down below okay you guys have a great rest of the day i'll see you guys next time